As national ambassador, basically what I'm doing is I'm going around the country and talking about the importance of reading and writing and um, how reading equals hope times change. And, and now we're talking about writing equaling hope times change, which is absolutely true. Um, I've known I wanted to be a writer since I was seven, and I really believe in the power of writing to change not only um, how we think, but how we, how we show the world how we think. And I think I'm going to start by reading to you an excerpt from Each Kindness. How many of you have read Each Kindness? <laughs> My super fan. <laughs> You've read a lot, right? All of them? Oh my goodness. That's so awesome. So um, what I was thinking about in terms of um, talking about change, the change that comes not only when we read, but when we write. And for me, the change comes when I have an idea, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm trying to figure out how to get it on the page. And it finally comes out of my brain onto the page, and I'm like, that's it. That's what I was trying to say. That winter, snow fell on everything, turning the world a brilliant white. One morning, as we settled into our seats, the principal walked in. She had a girl with her and said to us, this is Maya. I'm sorry. Maya looked down at the floor. I think I heard her whisper, hello. We all stared at her. Her coat was open and the clothes beneath it looked old and ragged. Her shoes were spring shoes, not meant for the snow. A strap on one of them had broken. Our teacher, Miss Alpert, said, say good morning to the new student. But most of us were silent. The only empty seat was next to me, and that's where our teacher put Maya. And on that first day, Maya turned to me and smiled. But I didn't smile back. I moved my books, my chair, and myself a little further away from her. When she looked my way, I stared out the window at the snow. And every day after that, when Maya came into the classroom, I looked away and didn't smile back. When you write, there's a thing called an inciting incident, right? The thing that happens that causes your story to begin. We call it the vehicle. What's the thing that happened that made that story, made you decide to tell that story right at that point? And so in this case, it's very obvious. What happened is a new girl walked into a classroom, right? And the girl who was already in the classroom was not having her. And so that's the thing that kind of propels the story forward. Um, and it's the thing, it's the physical change, right? It's the change that um, happened there, but it's also the emotional change. Just like I went from talking about reading equals hope times change to talking about how writing equals hope times change. So I just flipped one word and we could talk about something really different. But here we went um, to a classroom where everybody kind of got along and then suddenly someone walked in and changed the energy in a classroom. When we write, we can change the narrative. Um, we can change the narrative of the world, we can change our own narrative, we can create a more um, community-based narrative as we share our stories, and all of that is so important to impacting a greater good.